Sometimes we let Holy Scripture stand in the way of our faith and our trust in God. We doubt because we don't think that we could ever believe and trust in God the way the biblical heroes did. Just skimming the great by faith chapter, Hebrews 11, makes you doubt even more. Abel and Enoch and Noah and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and David and and so many more. How could you ever come close to the magnificent levels of faith on display there? But wait just a minute. They weren't superheroes. There was nothing about them that made them super believers. Each and every one of them was a living, breathing person, which means that each and every one of them was a living and breathing sinner. Boy, did some of them ever sin spectacularly. Suffice it to say that there was plenty of unchristian moments in their lives, and yet they are remembered as those who trusted in the one true God. And so should you. They all had their moments of doubt. Abraham and Sarah tried to fulfill God's promise about a son on their own. Moses fled Egypt. David, well, David was David. The point isn't, look at these people who did terrible things and were still saved. But rather, Even these people, these biblical heroes, had doubts about God's promises for them. Yet in all of it, they trusted the Lord God who had promised them that he was always with them. They heard his word and they trusted as the Holy Spirit had enabled them through the faith that he brought them as a gift. And so by faith, they persevered, even in the face of the terrible odds and struggles, because it was a faith given to them by their all-powerful God and Father. And it's the same faith that you have given to you by the same all-powerful God and Father, by the Holy Spirit, through the work of our crucified and risen Jesus. God Almighty loves you. So he gives you the faith that strengthens you to life everlasting.